Looking for the best handheld ham radio? In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top five handheld ham radios, and we discuss all their key features and things to consider before you pick the best one for you. Price information and all radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number five, Anytone AT-D878U7+. Plus. Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus is one of the better known DMR radios. This versatile radio is feature rich and although not cheap, it does offer good value for money. Available features include built-in GPS, Bluetooth, and the ability to transmit and receive APRS transmissions. The ability to work with APRS is kind of a big deal here. Any Tone AT-D878 UVII Plus model series is one of the first, perhaps the first, radio manufactured in China to include APRS. Conventionally, this technology shows up in radios manufactured in Japan for devices within the Yesu ecosystem. The radio does a decent job of TX and RX using APRS. The Plus model gets room for 500,000 contacts. That's a significant upgrade over the 200,000 contacts in the previous models. The higher number of contacts is a functional necessity for DMR radios. The number of contacts in a worldwide DMR database is more than 200,000 at this point. While the older models will continue to function, they will lose some contacts. The radio is compatible with DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2, so it shouldn't have trouble communicating with any DMR radio on the market. While it works on digital transmission, the handheld radio works as an analog transceiver as well. As a dual-band radio, Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus works with VHF and UHF bands. Shifting between digital and analog modes is quick and pain-free. The radio works on an impressive 3100 mAh battery. That's enough to provide the radio with a lot of juice, and it makes good use of it. The maximum RF output power on VHF is 7 watts, though users can choose 5, 2.5, Five or 0.2 watts. Similarly, UHF has max TX power at 6 watts, though 5, 2.5, and 0.2 watts are also available. An interesting thing here is the Bluetooth PTT. It's a button on a small strap that allows the user to speak on the radio without actually handling it. The button's a nice touch for going hands-free, though the DMR radio supports other means as well. You could connect any Bluetooth headphones or headset with the radio for communication. There are other interesting features as well, like built-in GPS and front-face programming with VFO channels. The presence of FFP allows users to add repeaters and other frequencies directly to the handheld radio without first going through programming. Even with the FFP, there's a lot to learn and understand about this handheld DMR radio. Though increasingly popular, it's still a new technology that people are still getting familiar with. Before moving to the next radio, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that we know if you like it or if there's something we must improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. So let's move to the next radio. Number 4. Yaesu Original FT-65R The Yaesu FT-65R is the less expensive version of the highly rated FT-60. It's a dual-band radio, which comes with weather alert and FM radio, solid, comfortable handsets with reasonable quality, and an IP54 rating, meaning it's relatively robust outdoors. The PTT button sticks out at a slight angle, which may feel awkward to some, but great to others, so this design feature comes down to personal preference. It has a 1 watt speaker with good audio quality and a clear, audible microphone. You can extend the operating time by a few hours by upgrading the rechargeable 1950 lithium-ion battery to a 2500 battery. The transceiver is computer and keypad programmable, but the programming cable isn't included that has to be bought separately. However, once obtained, the handset can be programmed with a range of software. It comes with a basic but user-friendly manual, though you have to download the more comprehensive programming instructions. Menu navigation using the keypad is relatively straightforward and intuitive, and the keypad includes four programmable keys to quickly access your most used settings, which is fairly unique among ham radio handsets reviewed. The backlit LED screen seems basic, with a default display setting showing a single VFO and battery status, but it can be configured to a dual band display. It has the standard VFO programmable memories as well as weather scans, and you can set it to auto turn off after a set period of time to preserve the battery. It comes with a stout antenna, which is interchangeable. If you're tired of belt clips that snap or detach the battery from the handset, this transceiver comes with a sturdier belt clip design than many other models, and the clip attaches to the body of the handset rather than a more standard attachment to the battery. Overall, the functionality, reliability, and quality compared to other models make it highly suited as a first ham radio for a ham radio operator starting out, as well as an intuitive and easy to handle handset for the more experienced. This dual band ham radio comes with VFO mode or you can scan by pre-programmed memory. Menu navigation and keypad programming is relatively intuitive and the keypad includes four programmable keys for quick recall. Sturdy and compact, it's well suited to the outdoors, especially with power saving features and the option to upgrade the battery. Overall, it's one of the best handheld 
handheld ham radios we've ever reviewed. Number three, Baofeng UV9R Plus, best budget handheld ham radio. Baofeng UV9R Plus is an entry-level radio with rugged construction. The highlight here is the IP67 waterproofing, which means the radio can survive being submerged in water. That's a rarity at this price point, and adds another value element to this radio. As with most devices at this price range, Baofeng UV9R Plus may not be the most resilient. However, at the very least, you won't have to worry about the radio getting bricked should you be caught in the rain. Much like its price point, it has a fairly basic design. There's a large speaker button at the top, followed by a small screen with buttons rounding up the front. On its back, the radio has room for a 360 degree rotatable belt clip. The sides are pretty well crafted and it's easy to get a good grip on the radio. On the top, you'll find the antenna, LED flashlight, and the dial to change channels. The physical interface is fairly simple and conventional, although it is still well proportioned and made in a way that the radio is easy to hold and manage in your hands. Baofeng UV9R often gets compared to the Baofeng UV82. Both radios look rather similar and have high RF power. The claimed output for both radios is 8 watts, with similar battery capacity. To be specific, the UV9R Plus draws power from a 2200 ma lithium ion battery, while the UV82 is powered by a 2800 ma battery. Practically speaking, both radios are similar in how they work. The UV82 has the edge because it uses Baofeng's standard programming cable, while the UV9R Plus requires a special cable, which adds to its cost and usability. One factor that tips the balance in favor of the UV9R is its waterproofing. Baofeng UV82 has no notable water resistant qualities. Another point of comparison for the radios was the power output. Though both claim 8WRF output now, the claims used to be much higher and taller until about a year ago. For example, in some cases, Baofeng UV9R Plus was sometimes advertised with a claimed RF output of 18 watts and a battery of 8,000 ma. This was, and with some sellers, still continues to be a misrepresentation of the capabilities of the radio. With the filing of this radio with the FCC, the power and battery claims become more reasonable, although it's still not exact. Though the high power level is claimed to be 8 watts, the RF output practically still hangs around 5 watts. In my opinion, the power output isn't the bad thing here. The problem lies with the exaggeration, even if it's been reduced to be more reasonable. As such, the low and high power options available are 1 watt and 5 watt. Baofeng UV9R Plus is a dual band radio with dual display and dual standby functions. It can also work for relay forwarding. The sound quality for this radio is fairly decent and does justice to the large speaker area. Its battery power is sufficient to keep this radio running for a day of work. Should the battery start running low, you can use a battery saving feature to stretch out the time by a little bit. Similarly, the presence of the low battery warning ensures your radio won't suddenly quit on you. Other notable features include priority scan, Vox, and emergency alarm. Number two, Yesu FT5DR, best premium handheld radio. As you look at the Yesu FT5DR, it's impossible not to draw parallels with the lower model of the Yesu FT3DR. Both radios have a similar design, features, and general functions. It's often said that Yesu developed the FT5DR because the global chip shortage made it difficult to source the parts for the 3DR. Thankfully, rather than throwing together a radio with what was available, Yesu took the time to make improvements on the radio. Yesu FT5DR has better voice clarity, works better with Bluetooth, and a relatively cleaner look. It is slightly larger and bulkier than the FT3DR, but the 5DR has a cleaner profile. This is especially visible with the buttons on the side of the radios. The FT3DR has something of a bulge with the buttons, while the 5DR is sleeker. It's a small change, but it works very well for the aesthetics. Differences aside, both these radios belong to the Fusion lineup and share overlapping features. Related accessories, including the battery, are compatible between these models. Though the battery takes its sweet time charging, it does a great job when it's in action. The battery can last a day even when transmitting at the maximum 5 watt output RF power. The 5 watt output is fairly standard for handheld ham radios like the FTD 5DR, and this radio seems to handle it beautifully. The received audio also appears better and louder due to the use of a powerful 1 watt speaker. Yesu FT 5DR is a competent addition to the company's Fusion Radio lineup. The dual band ham radio can work with VHF and UHF bands, with the capability to listen to two frequencies simultaneously. There are two independent receivers to work on these frequencies. Two LED indicators above the display present visual feedback for the working of the A band and B band. A key feature of the FT5DR is the implementation of digital communication, where it's worth comparing this radio to its close competitor, the ICOM ID52A. ICOM's offering is slightly longer and bulkier than the FT5DR, though it maintains a similar overall form. A quick difference between the two is that the Yesu ham radio has a touchscreen while ICOM 52 does not. The bigger question in choosing between these ham radios is whether you want Fusion or D-Star. 
Yaesu's implementation of the digital amateur radio employs C4FM communication with APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System. ICOM uses D-STAR to accomplish the same. This means that these ham radios transmit and receive data for information like GPS coordinates, texts, and images. However, the APRS with Yaesu's implementation generally works better than ICOM's D-STAR. Yaesu's use of C4FM also provides excellent features like automatic mode select, AMS, digital group ID, DGID, and smart Smart navigation. When using features like Smart Navigation, users can track their location en route or save it to a micro SD memory card. Similarly, you could use the micro SD card to store pictures you intend to send or receive. A lot of data can go into the memory card. Yaesu FT5DR will also accept software updates through its micro SD card. Since so many features find their place in this expensive package, we expect it to be strong and rugged. The FT5DR doesn't disappoint on these points. The ham radio has an impressive build quality. It's rated IPX7, which means it's waterproof and can spend a few minutes submerged without being damaged. Though it does a lot of things right, this radio is not without its flaws. Another important one is the learning curve for using this. If you haven't used a fusion radio before, it will take a while to get used to the ham radio. Number 1. Ocean KG UV9D Plus, our top choice. The defining factor for ocean radios is their quality. This one's no different. Its build quality is stunning. Though it's all plastic and rubber, it feels great in your hands and appears capable of handling some impacts. Ocean KG KG UV9D Plus is a handheld transceiver with a large digital display, followed by a speaker and a keypad. The buttons are easy to work with, the backlit display shows relevant information, and the voice quality is among the best you'll find in an HT. The way it shows information definitely puts Ocean KG UV9D Plus in the lead. The menu and various functions are very easy to access and intuitive. Even a new user can understand the functioning of this radio with relative ease. Even moving to different modes, including crossband repeat, is easy. In fact, in fact, the radio offers two options for crossband repeat. The relevant options are available under the Type Set menu. For most instances, just selecting the menu will work. The radio can receive transmissions on seven bands, though it transmits only on two bands. Users can set up some preferences and specific options by programming the radio, though the programming cable will need to be purchased separately. It has a transmit power of 5 watts high and 1 watt low, and it draws power from a 2000 mAh lithium-ion battery that can be charged through the included cradle. Have in mind that there is some confusion due to some sellers suggesting that the radio battery is 3200 mAh. Nevertheless, according to Ocean's documentation, it is 2000 mAh. To sum up what we like is the remarkable build quality. It's waterproof, good audio quality, it's easy easy to navigate menu and quick switching to crossband repeater modes. So what do you think? Which of these is the best handheld ham radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Have an awesome day.